Today's day. April 26 out here at the property. So uh gonna work on this uh on the ATV, putting the front basket on it. So I brought some wood and we'll make a basket. Try to customize it a bit to fit the chainsaws. I see a lot of a lot of examples of, of that out on YouTube, so there's a lot of good things to look at. So if you're wondering, you know, Dave, how did you what design did you use? It's gonna be my own design and I'll walk through how I do that, but um, the concepts are all over the place. So, um, but I did finish up, I did change the rear basket and I think it'll turn out pretty good. And again, last good, the last frontier, good inspiration. But um, I really like this. So hopefully you can see it. So I, I, I painted it black. Um, I thought that would be better. I uh, fitted it on, tried getting on and off with it, and it works out pretty good. So I think it'll do good for carrying my tools, fuel, stuff like that. I got to figure out a, a way to do a connect on and connect off without um, too much of a hassle. And, um, and I haven't done that yet. So I don't know what I'm going to use. I know they make zip ties that you can... Uh, loosen and take off so maybe that's a solution I definitely want something that um, grips on without hurting the um, without hurting the uh, um, ATV and the uh, racks that are on there so I don't want to scrape those all up so that's definitely a goal so it's always I'm gonna try to always keep it wood on wood on metal which could rub some that's a possible, but, um, or plastic on metal, no metal on metal. So anyways, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll try to make that happen. Hey, so I'm gonna make a, I guess a wooden frame is what you call it, a basket out of wood. And um, yeah, a piece of plywood, scrap plywood. That I had, and um, I have some uh, um, one by stock that I'm going to use for the sides, the back, and the front. I'll make the back just a hair shorter or not quite as high. <clears throat> Hold it all together with screws, and then uh, put a couple holes in it strategically so I can um, tie this down with zip ties to begin with. Um, just like my the basket I built out of the milk, milk crates. For now, I'll use zip ties. I'm not really sure end state what I'll use, but um, but that's it for now. So, anyways, all I did, all I did was this happened to be this wide, and so that's how wide it's going to be. There's a little bit of frame left here, maybe about an inch or so, but pretty in inconsequential, I think. So, I just marked off. It's just a hair of an overhang on each side to mark it. Going to cut this. That'll be the size of the basket. And then it's just a matter of cutting my two ends, the front and the back, screwing them on. So we'll go through that process. All right. So It has a little bit of a bow to it, so I'm making the bow out to the out of the box. Uh, and I know that matters a whole lot. Makes me feel better. In the scope of things, I'm not sure it really matters that much.
ready. Now, let's do a custom measurement. So this fits nice and tight. show you real quick all right so this is all the basket it's looking so far centers up nice and good we'll be able to mark it easily for the right holes to strap it down um, so that all is looking good to me now the back this back rail I'm gonna make it a little less not quite as high have a piece longer than this bit. I'm gonna go down just a little bit. So it'll be like that. And uh, gives me just a little bit more freedom, I think, up here. Anything I wanna do. Um, not that this is too high in and of itself, but I kinda like that look a little bit better. And uh, it seems to imitate a little bit some of the metal baskets I've seen where this part is lower than this part. I've turned my handlebars to make sure I have plenty of clearance, which I do. So even if I was to use this, it would be fine. So, but anyways, I'm gonna use this size, which is three and a half, three and a half inch, yeah. So, all right, Dave out. So let's get a good measurement. Just a hair to you. Okay, so we trim this just a hair. Trim a little bit more. I'd rather trim than try to grow. All right, let's do a 
bon. Definitely nice and sturdy. It's also another thing I wanted. Well, there we go. <clears throat> really a pretty simple build. So now we got the box done. Let's see if we can do some customization. The thing I want to carry in here is a chainsaw. So, so how do we best match this up to hold a chainsaw? Could run the trigger through there. I could run my bar through up here. I think if I did that, if I do that, like this, am I able to carry both at once? Oh yeah, that's what we want right there. We'll just make a little pass through here for them. With the blade guards on. Then I can carry, I should be able to carry them both saws pretty easily. Maybe just one strap. That'll work. Because uh, that'll be a nice little customization to it. All right, let's do that. So another benefit of making this the end board is now I don't have to deal with any screws other than maybe one coming up from the bottom when making this cutout. And it's not gonna, I don't think it'll weaken this any. Of course I have a screw in it, so I have to relocate that screw to right here and then put one right here. But that should make it nice and sturdy. Get this in. All those little touch-ups you gotta do always, you know. One next to it. One small screw next to it. And I think we'll be good here. 
This side I didn't have one in the way like I did on the other side. Yeah. Let's see. This side. Let's see what I've got. Got to screw right in the center of it. See, so we got to take this dude out. And move him up one. Put one right in this corner. Right down here. Yeah. Alright, so hands I got it. It's just got an aggressive cut too. We'll do the best we can with it. And uh, make these two try to make them nice and straight. That'll be a goal. Nice and straight. Nice and sturdy. So that's good. That's what we want. Let's get this side. So, got it sitting where I want it. Probably pretty close to where it will be finished product. Let's see if the saws will sit in here. Yeah. So that one's working. Let's see about this dude. Yeah, so we're definitely in there. Um, yeah, that works out pretty good. Nice and tight. All I have to do is strap them down when I travel with them, but the bars aren't sticking out too far, which is always a danger. You know, you'd whack them on something. You don't want to do that. So I like this. I'm traveling with one, it still works. And then, you know, have options here. So, anyway, I think it works really well. If I want to be fancy, I could put some more stops in so it would be precise. The thing is, if I do that, anything else I put on the bottom here is a limiter on how other things sit in it. So, I don't want to do that. I, I want to be flexible, so this will meet my need. And so, I think that, that's a big thumbs up right there. All right, now I'm going to go set it over by the wood pile there, get some stain. I'm going to use the same stain that I use in all my, so far, every wood product out here is my, uh, the old man's recipe. 50% diesel fuel, 50% used mortar oil, mix it together put it on as a stain. The uh, oil repels water. Um, insects don't like it, so it does a pretty good job. So let me get on that and then hopefully it'll have time to dry and maybe we get put on today. All right, Dave out. All right, folks, there she is, finished product. She's all tied in, secured. The uh, sort of the baskets. I did use zip ties. It seemed to work pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks nice and secure. I like the look of it. I painted the baskets black. I can get on and off just fine. I was worried about my old legs whipping around like that, but I didn't have any worries. So it did good. End of day, I think. I think it looks all right. You know, definitely not. You know, brand new ones from a store, but. 
hey, I just, you know, spend a lot of money, but now I saved a few, a few bucks. Did something on my own. That lumber, <laughs> had scrap, but if I had to buy that, just those little pieces, well, a little piece of plywood and stuff, there's probably 20, 30 bucks worth of wood there. But to me, it was nothing, because it was all scrap wood anyways, so. Um, stuff I just had laying around, and it's stained nice, and so it looks good. All right, so that puts an end to the baskets. Next thing, we'll have to do a ride together, so that'll be next time up. Also, got to show you all the logs I've been skinning, getting ready for a bunch of projects around here. All right, till then, Dave out. Oh, yeah, poor Dave out. Remember, make kindness your business. I look around today and I finish picking things up. Well, there's just a lot of anger out there. Um, don't, don't be one of those people. There's no reason. I, I struggle with it, trying not to be one of those people. But boy, oh boy, it is so tempting to jump in there and be one of those people that gets angry. And you see a lot of things that aren't fair. That's okay. Not everything's supposed to be fair. So, hey, kindness your business. Dave out.